Hey, what's going on guys? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, we're gonna be checking out a 05 GMC Envoy. Customer's complaint, hearing a lot of noise from the left front wheel. He just had the repairs done. I don't know if he went to a shop or a friend did it, but when he got the vehicle back, driving along, this is what he was hearing. So in this video, we're gonna take apart this left front suspension and see what we can find. All right, guys, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the video. All right, one of the first things you want to look at is beans we're having noise in this front wheel is you want to take it and you want to grab it and shake it. And that seems pretty tight. So the next thing we want to do is we want to turn this wheel. You want to try to spin it. You can actually hear the noise. But one thing I've noticed is when I'm spinning it, it is extremely tight. There's no extra spin on this thing. If I spin it, it immediately comes to a stop. Let's compare it to the other side. And the same thing when you grab this wheel top and bottom, it's nice and tight. Let's check the spin on this tire. All right, see the difference? When I spin this tire, it continues to turn. So what that's telling me is the caliper on the other side is probably sticking or locking up, or it could be a brake line. If you take a look, you can see he only went back with new pads. He left the old calipers, the old brake lines, and the old rotors. My recommendation to him is going to be replace everything as a complete unit. And we're going to do left and right. You do everything in pairs. My reasoning for replacing the brake lines is the fluid has to travel back and forth as you ply and release the brake. And if you look at this brake line, you can definitely see it's old and rusted and it's very hard. So that could be another reason why the caliper is not working correctly. Even though he just replaced the brake pads, we're gonna put new ones on simply because they've been overheated. When that happens, you get extra noise out of the brake pads that way, and they don't last as long. The rotors, because they're reheated, you can see hot spots in the rotors, and it's most likely out of round, which will give you a vibration when you apply the brake at high speeds. All right, we're gonna get everything replaced. After we do that, we'll test drive it and see how it does. All right, guys, here's a pro tip of the day. You make sure whoever works in your car knows what the heck they're doing. I don't know about you, but I'm not putting my wife or my kids in a car knowing that the guy that just worked on it doesn't know what the heck he's doing, especially when it comes to the brakes. If my wife and kids go to hit that brake pedal, that car better stop. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I put brand new calipers on the car, went to bleed it, neither caliper would bleed. Could not believe this, had never seen this before. Both calipers, brand new out of the box, were bad. So I called the auto parts store, they sent me another set out, stuck them on the car, everything went just fine. That sticking wheel that we used to have before, turns just fine now. All right guys, I appreciate you watching. Catch you later.